प्लीज थिंक डॉक्टर नरेंद्र धाबोलकर जय विप्रा डू सब्सक्राइब टू बुक स्ट्रीम यूट्यूब चैनल प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन टू रिसीव द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स ऑन बुक रिव्यूज In this Marathi translated English book the readers will get an insight about the world of the author Dr Narendra Dahbolkar his experience on overcoming superstition with ANIS on his side and the Shraddha Nirmolan Samiti the author expresses his views about the role of Indian constitution which highlights on educating the masses on the development of scientific temper through one of its articles this book highlights the author's experiences his visit to various places in and around the state of maharashtra in india where faith and religious fanaticism inculcates breeds superstition or adopting to blind belief without any reason there are many historical anecdotes in the beginning of this book on how science was developed at the dawn of the renaissance how reason and scientific thinking transformed the world in the latter part of 20th century and also how science and reason questioned the authorities to develop scientific temperament which transformed europe during the renaissance it also highlights about the scientists thinkers philosophers who suffered great against the church or authority simply because of their questioning of dogmas truth and invoking rational thoughts how great minds were made to face brutality of church then by burning them alive on stakes killing old women for the failure of climate crops and burning them again by saying that they endured sorcery or witchcrafts as they are witches all these false irrelevant superstitious beliefs ruined many societies in europe and took many innocent lives as the western world is overcoming with their own struggles the author moves now to india and presents us about his native state of maharashtra He then discusses about the state of religious institutions wherein some of the institutions are fake and also some of the religious so called fanatics are again spoiling the society by breeding superstition and imposing blind faith within the religion to avoid reason going against the logic of science and also by breeding false illusion of themselves to be the real crusaders or change mongers who can lead the masses through a imaginary fake world the very act of unscientific hoax imposing black magics or sorcery or other money money mongering tactics by doing petty tricks is exposed by the author the author also exposes the very strata on the other side or the dark side of all religion its orthodoxy and by unwilling that these so called fanatics within those religion who ruin the fabric of unity diversity and importantly the scientific thinking itself of the masses in the later part of the book the author highlights on other religions in india as well as those religions which within itself has other subsects uh within the religion or religious institutions wherein these superstitious beliefs will be some way or the other being provoked through authority of some medias or some politicians in general unmasking the so called fake religious wheels which ruin the fabric of the teachings of the truth by the prophets saints monks priests and also the legendary spiritual leaders of india are been saddened and he and he worries about those great minds he educates the people to think twice before accepting any religious practices which can inculcate later into a superstitious belief he also informs the public to be alert to be aware and to reason on everything which is been imposed to them this very act of exposing and unveiling the truth resulted in many rivalry for the author the author was murdered in 2013 his anti superstitious bill which was passed and enacted as a law which was the first of its kind in the state of maharashtra in india after the doctor's death dr narendra dabolkar's death the government passed the bill and created him for bringing the anti superstitious and black magic ordinance he was posthumously awarded with padma shri for his lifelong work to educate the masses on superstition 
It is a must read book for those who want to reason and improve their life with scientific temperament and for those who can uh, who can relent on or you can see within themselves that how certain religious practices or certain so called religious institutions can impose superstition and can create a fake belief through various uh, means these books from the author are very useful in general the last book review we have discussed we have talked about a book of the author called uh, the case for reason so all the books of this author is uh, one which educates the masses on how one can be cheated in the name of religion and how to be aware of certain aspects within the religious uh, religions uh, context or religion in general there are many other aspects within the religion where people might be misunderstood or might get uh, be involved through these uh, entities of uh, religious fanatics until the next book review signing off